I modified the bottom fitting on the pump with a check valve here to take the 316 copper pipe. That goes up quite nicely, quite neatly. Then I modified the intake pipe or the steam inlet pipe. So I that little fit in the bottom so I want to connect the oil pipe directly to the engine. I'm going to fill the pump with oil. This is special oil designed specifically for use with steam. Really thick stuff it is. Now we can now work the pump by hand and it should hopefully push oil up that tube. Right, as you can see the oil is coming out quite nicely. We may have to adjust the stroke on the pump to give a little more or less oil. But too much is way better than too little. I made a new joint to go on here and I'm going to put a little bit of this stuff on. This is steam seal. It's designed specifically for high pressure, high temperature steam. Really messy stuff it is. You get this on your fingers, it just doesn't come off. It's got to wear off. No little paper joint. You don't have gaskets on steam engines, you have joints. So I've been told, because I have now got the bastard stuff on my fingers. That's it. A little bit on that flange as well. Some nice little washers and brass nuts. Strange enough, all the threads on this engine are metric. And I did make it, and it was made out of metric because it's a new build. If it had been an old engine, it would all be imperial. So these are 6mm, where they would have been sort of quarter weight worth. It'll nip up again once it's been warmed up. Right, we need to mark and cut this pipe now to fit into that olive. And what I made there was put a ball bearing and you have to blank this off and then run it on compressed air to make sure that there is oil coming out of there. It needs to go and be cut about there because it does fit up inside. There's a little shoulder on there, in there. And once you're on this side of the white line, the exhaust pipe goes on exactly the same. Two little six mil brass nuts. Found one. Well, there's that bastard gun. So it's heavy wall copper pipe, the real old fashioned stuff, you can actually put threads onto it. It costs a fortune to buy it now. A little pipe clamp just holds these two together and stop them moving. Probably the only Whitworth. Nut and bolt that's on. The engine actually with this, this clamp bolt. That's quarter weight worth.
get me a time to put some compass down though now and make sure it does actually pump oil. So I'll have to blank off the oil in that fitting. Compress there's coupled up, we'll crack the valves open. That's the only get a pump working. Right, and that's the oil coming out the top of there. Which I think is too much. To adjust the amount of oil, I need to lengthen that so it doesn't move a pivot as much. But what I could do is remount this onto that control rod because that moves hardly any of that end in a lot of that end. So I could put it on there and that would give us infinitely variable. Wouldn't it? That may be a, a better way of doing it. Make something on there to clamp on so I can adjust the throw. I think that's what I'll end up doing. No, I ran for a while, this. gentleman I do quite a bit of machining work for uh, brought these in for us to have a look at there's two of them a twin cylinder scratch built we're eating steam engines this is the bigger one and that is a slightly smaller one the paint will be complete there's some bits of damaged paint work and things the tune of quite freely he reckons it's sort of 70 years since he saw them running in a model boat at Potty Freeman's um, so I think what I may do is see if I can get your friend Bob interested to give them a little bit of a clean up and see if we can get them running for the guy. Um, it would be nice to get them running on compress there. They're quite well made, it's all been it's all hand work, hand failed. Uh, there's a lot of time going into these, and they're certainly well worth cleaning up and looking after. Stuff like this, it's a, you know, it's a family sort of Heirloom, really? Or is it heirloom or heirloom? Heirloom. Anyway, these little miserable ten beer studs are not. They're not for John. That's for certain. But I think Bob might have a a look with them for him. Once again, just time to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're up to ninety nine thousand one hundred now, so it is getting nearer all the time. Anyway, thanks for watching.